going on guys? Brett Alive back with another video and today we are reviewing three WWE Elite Defining Moment figures. Yes, you heard me right. Defining Moments are back in the WWE Mattel Elite line. Yes, the only place you can get these figures is Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com Be free to use discount code Live at Chicken to save 10%. And if you guys have not already seen part one of this video, we go through the full in-depth unboxing. We talk about the box art. We unbox the Cody Rhodes. So if you guys are here for the Cody, transfer over to the channel. Check out the Cody Rhodes review video. If that one's already on the channel. I want to get that one up as soon as possible because I know a lot of people want to see what's going on with that bruise on the chest. It's a banger vid, so check that out. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Bret the Hitman Hart from WrestleMania when he took out Rowdy Roddy Piper. Definitely a defining moment. Shawn Michaels from Royal Rumble 1997 when I believe he defeated Psycho Sid to win the WWE Championship. I could be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that figure looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course, Mankind from King of the Ring 1998 inside of Hell in a Cell. Look at this mutilated figure, dude. Look at the face on that, man. I cannot wait to get this figure out of the box, see what that head scan's all about, see what the figure's all about. And I did see all of these figures shown off at the WrestleMania Superstore in LA. So, so to have them in person all just a couple months later is so awesome. Courtesy of Ringside Collectibles once again. That's the only place you can get them right now. The best there is. The best there was. The best there ever will be. Brett the Hitman Hart. We're going to start off with his figure from WrestleMania 8 when he took on Rowdy Roddy Piper. He's coming with that full pink attire. That vintage classic jacket that I believe they just found on WWE's Most Wanted Treasures. I love watching that TV show on a and &E. Uh, yes, again, ringside exclusive. Mattel, Defining Moments. Look at this packaging. Yes, it is a little smaller compared to the original Defining Moments packaging, but it doesn't bother me, man. Like, the packaging, this it looks super classic. I'm glad I didn't change it too tremendously, just minus the size. Here's a picture of Brett from WrestleMania, and then you got a little read-up at the bottom. If you guys are interested, feel free to pause the video to read. Gotta point this out. Mattel, y'all are freaking amazing. Covering the shoulders where, yes, we do see some staining every once in a while with these types of leather jackets. So they covered it up with tape and it pulls off just like that, leaving no residue. I freaking love Mattel. Jumping into the accessories for the Hitman. Yes, he is coming with the open interchangeable hands. And these hands are always great to get with Bret the, Hart, Bret the Hitman Hart. Because you can put him to the side when he has his jacket. You know, flaunt the hands. It's a great touch. And then we also are seeing the glasses, which I feel like Mattel could upgrade. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I liked, you know, the original Ultimate Edition, how it had the silver sticker going along the lenses. I liked that a lot. This one, I don't know. It's all right. It's shiny. But it just doesn't, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it, personally. He is coming with the WrestleMania 8 jacket, which, yes, I confirmed they just found this on WWE's Most Wanted Treasures. This was actually originally stolen from Bret the Hitman Hart, and they found it recently with a collector, and I think they paid like 10000 for this jacket. Here we have Bret the Hitman Hart standing next to his WrestleMania 8 opponent, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and fun fact about this figure, that's the exact attire that he wore when he fought this Bret Hart, which is this is all the, also the exact attire as well. So if you want to recreate WrestleMania 8, buy these two figures. That's the Legends Rowdy. This is the Defining Moments Brett. And then I also do have the uh, Ultimate Edition Brett, which is very, very similar to this Elite Brett. Just saying. Um, but yeah, here is the Elite Defining Moments Brett Hart. Sporting a solid head skin. I like how the hair isn't covering his face. I swear, like all the classic Bret Hart Elites, they'd always have hair covering his eyes. It's like, oh my gosh, can we like get it back? The hair wasn't always covering his face. Um, it looks solid. Hair's coming to the front. Hair's coming to the back. Look at this. I love the black pinstriping at the edges of the attire. You got the Bret Hart logo right at the ab crunch. And yes, it does continue if you want to move the ab crunch, which I think is really cool. You got the black elbow pads, pink wrist tape, which I always think is amazing. I love the all pink attire. I think it looks so freaking clean, man. Like, when, when, when it's like half black, half pink, I mean, it's okay. It's classic, but I like all pink. I love this pattern on the side. You got the white going down with the black, uh, black stripe. Boom! Gotta line that up. Come on now. And then on the back, it's got a basic font saying Hitman with a black star right there moving down you got the pink knee pads with the black stars outlined in white bro i love the outlining it's so clean and then moving down he's got the boots which brett's heart brett hart's got some of the freaking cleanest boots i'm not gonna lie this like light pink design surrounding it and this light pink star super clean and the black trim on the bottom it's just so clean bro let's pop some accessories on this man 
Bret the Hitman Hart, WrestleMania 8. Oh, that jacket is so much cooler now that I know how prestigious it is, dude. Like, when I saw it at the Mania Superstar, I was like, okay, it comes with a black jacket. But now, knowing how insanely freaking prestigious this jacket is, it's crazy. There he is, next to his opponent, WrestleMania 8, Roddy Piper. Fuck, God, it killed him. We got mankind from King of the Ring 1998. When he went up against The Undertaker and nearly died, bro. Look at that interchangeable head he comes with. He's mutilated. He's wrecked. This is before the match, after the match. Oh my goodness. Ringside exclusive comes in the four pack. As you guys know, very similar packaging to Brett the Hitman Art. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I love this photo though. This is a photo. So many words to describe this photo. You got Mankind, Undertaker looking at him. I love this. I absolutely love that. Uh, you got a little read up on the back. If you guys are interested, feel free to pause the video to read. And without further ado, let's get into it and crack Mankind out of the box. Accessories wise for the Mankind figure, we're not seeing much, but that's okay, because the figure makes up for it. We are seeing these open interchangeable hands. They are the you can't see me John Cena hands, but you could use these for multiple different things. Say you, he wants to cover up his face, hold his abdomen. You could use those for a bunch of different things. And then you also do have this interchangeable head that we've seen before. And yes, the mask is removable on this. If you really want to fully take it off, you can. I'm just not going to do it, because I, I, I prefer it on, because the other head skin that he comes with has has it removed so I'm just gonna keep this mask on it looks really nice you got the silver studs going around the open mouth inside of the mask brown hair going all the way around to the back and back here yes it's fully removable if you guys are wondering and here is mankind Mick Foley man one face of Foley that being mankind and here he is in action figure form beat to living crap look at this freaking head skin this is the made head skin that we get with the figure he's got blood yeah He's got blood on a Mattel figure, and it's in the mouth. I don't know the last time they did blood on a Mattel figure. Have they ever done that? I, I don't know. But there's blood in his mouth. There's a tooth. At first, I did think that was a tissue, but then I looked back at the match, and yes, that was a tooth in his freaking nose. That's a tooth in his nose, dude. And then he's, he's smiling. He's smiling in his head. Like, what is happening? His eyes are sort of looking every which way. His hair's all messed up. His mask has been torn off. Moving down to the torso, this was one thing that I thought was going to bother me. When me and MDT were looking at this figure at the Superstar, we thought the torso looked a little oversized, but getting it in hand, I don't feel like it's oversized that much. Yes, he does have the tie, and that isn't a separate piece. I do wish that was a separate piece. It's molded onto the shirt, so you can't move it around. But it is still, like, misplaced. It's not centered. It's, like, off-centered. I like that. You got the torn-up sleeve here, which you still get the articulation that you always would. This one's sort of rolled up. This one's torn. And on the back, first time ever, I know this for a fact, they are doing tax in a WWE Mattel figure. Look at this! There are freaking tax in this man's back this figure is like beat beat up it's a beat up figure and i love it this is so cool silver tacks in the back yep they're just molded you can feel them it's not just paint stubs nope you can feel them you can feel all of them moving down he does have like a nice like dark brown pants black boots and i like how they colored in the silver little holes for the laces i think that's really really cool there's mick foley kind of starting the match and when you want him at the end of the match, there you have Mick Foley at the end of the match. Maybe you have him holding his mouth or his throat. I don't know, man. Here is The Undertaker staring down at Mick Foley. I love that, dude. Oh, his hand holding his throat is even better. And last, but certainly not least, we got the Heartbreak Kid. We got Mr. WrestleMania from Royal Rumble 1997 when he won the WWE Championship. Here he is, baby. Shawn Michaels in attire that we've never seen him in before in action figure form. Ringside exclusive Mattel Defining Moments is back, and I am so happy about that. Here's a look at the box. Uh, similar to Mankind and Brett, just with the Shawn Michaels photos going on. There is Shawn paying homage to the ring, I would assume, and the crowd. Uh, and then here is the read up on the back. Yes, he did defeat Psycho Sid, I believe. And oh, I'm so hyped for this, dude. This attire is so classic. I cannot wait to add it to my freaking shelf. Jumping into the accessories for the Shawn Michaels figure. And this Shawn Michaels definitely takes top spot for the accessories in this Defining Moments 4 pack. We're seeing the freaking chaps right here. The entrance chaps, which looks so cool, man. Look at this. We got these nice patterns going down. Red, white, and blue. Nice zipper right here, which doesn't 
actually function the way you take it off is there is velcro in the back uh, and be careful on how many times you disconnect and reconnect this velcro because this stuff does wear down and then it stops sticking after a while trust me from experience uh, but it does look really nice on the figure I will show it and then he also does come with this like crop top type entrance piece as well with more insane circle patterns going on yes it does velcro in the front goes over his arms goes over his shoulders it's a really nice piece and that combo looks great on the figure he is coming with a cowboy hat which is really nice for Texas of course it is black it is a brand new mold they didn't reuse the Brock Lesnar one they didn't reuse the JBL one it's a brand new cowboy hat to fit the new head scan that he comes with. And then to top it all off, he does come with the wrist tape right here, which I think is misprinted. I am not sure though, because look at this. See like, see how the Texas logo is sort of squeezed right there, and then there's more skin tone here. I don't know, it's kind of odd. This could be a misprint, this could not be. I'm not 100% positive, but these are oddly printed. I'm not gonna lie. It's like stops there, it's like weird. I don't know, these are weird. Mr. WrestleMania is running wild. Here he is in his Texas gear looking as freaking sick just me or is this head just a tad too big for this body it might just be me but let me know if you guys agree down in the comments down below but other than the size of the head i mean the head looks freaking fantastic this looks just like Shawn michaels and i believe this is a brand new head sculpt he's got the brown hair going on and he also is sporting a daniel bryan torso with a bunch of hair stubble which looks really accurate and we are seeing the uh, sword through the heart tattoo on the left bicep and then here's a look at the other hand how these are printed, uh, which looked way better than the fisted ones. The fisted ones look so jank, dude. I don't know why. Like, the tape stops, and it's just, this is weird. I don't like those fisted ones, but these look really nice. You can even see the Texas state on the wrist tape, which is really dope. Moving down to the tights themselves, you can see the Texas flag inside of the broken hearts, because, of course, he's the heartbreak kid. We got Texas right here with the star at the bottom, and it lines up really, really nice with the articulation, because you got to remember, you got, the, you got the knee joint right there, right? So it's going to take away from it but once you bring it back boom that lines up so perfectly you got the hearts continuing all the way to the back where it says heartbreak kid and then moving down to the boots he's got a nice black color going on with some silver straps on the side to uh you know velcro it up tighten those boots up let's pop these accessories on and here's one more look at Shawn michaels decked out with every accessory he comes with besides those garbage fisted hands i don't like those there's a look at the head once again with the hat like i said i think the head's just a tad bit too big but it doesn't bother me that much and then here's a look at him with all of his cloth goods yes cloth goods going on i love the pants i love the top piece oh this is so nice and you can even see some of the logos through the cuts of the pants oh so clean it's gonna look so good on my shelf i cannot wait to add it i really hope you all enjoyed the review and unboxing on bret hart Shawn michaels and mankind from the defining moments ringside collectibles exclusive for pack once again if you guys want to see cody rhodes reviewed he is reviewed on part one of this Defining Moment series that's on the channel already. So head on over there, subscribe while you're there, and watch that dang video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I highly recommend this pack, dude. This is a great four pack of elites. If you want to buy the figure separately, say you just want the Sean, you can do that. Say you just want the uh, Cody, you can do that. You don't have to buy all four of them, but I recommend buying all four of them because you're not going to lose. Trust me, these are going to be insanely sought after, and these are just such great figures. These are great freaking figures once again they're available at ringside collectibles cold live service 10 percent and i'll see y'all next time but alive i love y'all out